What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. So, today I'm on lane number 7, and as you can see right here, I have a broken toggle. So basically how this works here, um, so this is the piece that actually grips the pin. And you can see on this one right here, it sticks out of the hole in the pinwheel like that. And there's a pin that goes through and mounts it into the toggle housing. And as you see on this one, that hole is kind of broken off. And therefore the pin fell out and was causing problems last night during the league. So what I'm going to have to do here, I'm going to have to somehow pull this toggle out of here, even with the pin hoops or the pinwheel hoop still on here. I have actually never done this before with the pin hoop with the pinwheel hoop on there. Usually I already have it off because the wheel's being uh, rebuilt. But we're gonna we're gonna try to do this here and maybe we'll learn something. So please hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and hit the post notification bell and let's go. Alright guys, so I'm gonna start by loosening up these nuts here on all the sides and I'm also going to take this piece off here to, just to get it out of the way. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have to loosen up the hoop while I'm getting this one off but I I know I probably will when I have to get the new one on. So let's just try to get this out of here. Alright guys so now I got that uh, plate off. That Just so you guys know there is supposed to be a sol solenoid on there but with the pinwheel clutches we don't need that. So if that looks a little different, that's why. As you can see, I'll show you this one over here. This is my only lean without the clutch. So this is what it usually looks like. It has the solenoid right in the middle and a few springs on it. Not a big deal, but yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these two nuts up here. And if you look in here, there's these two nuts over here too. Um, you do not need a wrench to go on the other side because they are fixed in there. They're fixed bolts. You'll see what I mean once I get them out. But I'm going to get those out and see if I can wiggle this out somehow without having to loosen the hoop. But I think I'm going to now that I'm looking at it. And as I suspected, we there's no way we're getting this thing off without loosening the hoop. And I think I'm probably going to have to jack up this pinwheel somehow to do that. So yeah. All these projects on these machines are very fun as you can see. So I'm going to get to loosening these up and jack up this pinwheel from the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to get this one out. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. I ended up having to loosen all of these hoop bolts. And bad news for you guys, if you have it's set up the old way without these brackets on there and you have the hoop uh, bolted on by the toggles there's no way you're getting those things out of there without taking this pinwheel out and just rebuilding it it's unfortunate but that's just how it was designed so you got to work with it but good news for me this pinwheel was put together the new way with about four different socket sizes but it's okay now i'm going to try to get a good housing in there and we'll see how that goes. All right, so here's one right here. This one was taken off of somewhere. Appears to be a good toggle though. Need to put new bushings on it. I think that's the only one I got that's put together yeah might as well just use this all right so hopefully i'll break this doing it like this oh come on damn it all right Let's see if i can do this No, it's gonna. We're gonna get it. Two hours later. Oh, come on. Mother ever. Um, 
You guys are probably cringing right now, but that's okay. All right. I just don't want to loosen this to the point where it falls off. Oop. That's nice. Okay. That should be good. As you can see, obviously the last guy that did this didn't have enough energy to just go to the hardware store and get the right hardware, but... Okay guys, so as you can see, after all that struggling and having to loosen all this up and stuff, I finally got it in there. So what I ended up having to do, I just slid it over here to where there's not a like a, you know, it doesn't come back on the wheel in the frame. So that way I had more space to slide this up. So anyways, I got it in there. Um, that's not the way I like doing it. Usually I take the whole wheel out, but today I'm on a time schedule because I have to do a pit over on that end. So I'm just gonna bolt this up real quick and probably gonna have to wind up coming back to this and reconstructing this wheel at a later date but we're just gonna put it together right now the best we can and yeah so basically all the steps that i just did we're gonna do backwards all right guys so i've got that pin in there now and now i just gotta tighten all these up all right guys so that is a messed up way of how to change a toggle um, oh, I forgot this step, but you gotta put this plate back on. It's self-explanatory, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.